hearts are falling, hearts are breaking, how we need to hear from God. You've been promised, we've been waiting, welcome Holy Child, welcome Holy Child. Hope that you don't Fragile fingers sent to heal us, tender brow prepared for a thorn. Tiny heart whose blood will save us, unto us is born, unto us is born. So wrap our injured flesh around you, breathe our air and walk our sod. Steal our sin and make us holy, perfect Son of God, perfect Son of God. The stars are brightly shining It is the night of the dear Savior's birth Long may the world in sin and error pining Till he appeared and the soul felt its worth Joe.
Merry Christmas. We are extremely happy that you are here to worship with us at Our Savior Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Randy Schrader of Our Savior, and we are located right next to the Purdue University campus on Vine and Fowler in West Lafayette. If you would like to join us via Zoom, please send us an email to info at O-S-L-U-T-H dot org. That's info at osluth dot org. If you do, we will send you the Zoom link, which includes our bulletin to follow along in the worship. And the Zoom link also allows you to join us for our virtual coffee time after the service. We would love to get to know you better at that time. Please join us also by Facebook Live. We appreciate your viewing. Tonight we hear the precious story of the birth of our Savior. After we hear the scripture, some individuals from our church will be in character, playing those who were at Jesus' birth. People like Caesar and Mary and Joseph, a shepherd, an angel, and even God. Join us as we hear their interpretation of what is happening in that time and what is happening within them. You are welcome here as we proclaim to a broken world the good news of Jesus' birth. Please join us as we begin our worship with the singing of O Come All Ye Faithful. Today, Christ is born. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence, and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, 
one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first lesson this evening comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I invite you to say Psalm 96 along with me. Sing Sing to to the the Lord Lord a new song. Sing Sing to the Lord Lord, all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless the the name of the Lord. Proclaim God's salvation from day to day. Declare God's glory among the nations and God's wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and And greatly to be be praised, praised, more more to be feared than all gods. As As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But you, O Lord, Lord, have have made made the heavens. heavens. Majesty Majesty and magnificence magnificence are in your presence. Power and splendor splendor are in your sanctuary. sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples, Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due the holy name. Bring offerings and enter the courts of the Lord. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before the Lord, all the earth. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. The one who made the world so firm that that it cannot be moved will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy at your coming, O Lord for you come to judge the earth. You will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with your truth. Our second lesson comes from the book of Titus, chapter two, verses 11 through 14. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the second chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that the world should be registered. This was the first registration held and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went 
from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was, a, he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, watching over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord appeared before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, you see, for I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there with the angel was a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and, and see this thing that has taken place, which our Lord has made us known, has made known to us. They left with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what was told them about this child. And when all heard it, they were all amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary, she treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it was told them. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to tell the kids to come up and gather around if they're able, if they're not too excited about what kind of night this is. As I see, there are a couple of you. How are you doing this evening? It's good to see you. So I want to ask, we just heard this story about Jesus being born, and I got a question. So Jesus was in the manger, okay? And usually mangers at this time were kind of like a, a barn type of a situation, or, or maybe even some communities back then used caves as a manger. But Either way, if they were in the manger, where do you think Mary and Joseph plugged in the Christmas tree? You think they had a Christmas tree? Yes? Thumbs up or thumbs down? No Christmas tree? No. Well, okay. Well, what kind of Christmas cookies do you think they ate? Christmas cookies? Do you think they had Christmas cookies? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down? Some thumbs up. Hey, that's an optimistic one. I like you. Okay, so probably no cookies. Well, then what, what do you think Mary and Joseph got baby Jesus for Christmas? What kind of presents were there? Do you think they had a present for baby Jesus? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Well, yeah. Another one, optimistic. I love that you're going to go far in life, buddy. No, no presents there either. Hmm. Well, 
if there's no tree or no cookies or no presents, it doesn't sound like much of a Christmas to me. Unless, unless you think about the best gift of all and the real reason that we actually celebrate Christmas. The gift of Jesus, God's self, himself. The way God shows us that God loves us was by becoming like us. Jesus is God in human form. Jesus came to show us what it's like to love one another, to teach and to live and to love and, yes, even die for one another. In Jesus, God shows us what is right and what is wrong. Not not that God will punish us if we mess up, but God will forgive us when we do mess up. That's the promise God gives us, and that's the reason why we celebrate this Christmas. God promises to love us. That's why we can love one another. God shows us all this in this birth of this newborn baby Jesus, the best gift ever. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for today. You are awesome and we love you. We ask you to bless all those who don't have a Christmas tree or Christmas cookies or presents, but yet they know you love them because they have baby Jesus and their families and friends, hopefully surrounding them, giving that love. Help us to love others as you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Good evening. The next portion of our service will be a drama, a series of soliloquies of those maybe around the time or at the manger at Jesus' birth. And we begin with the part I will play, which is Caesar Augustus. What a night! Just look at those stars. I wonder what fate they hold for me. It's not easy being Caesar. Everyone thinks I should have all the answers. Everyone looks to me for help and hope. I've got the whole empire of people looking to me. Some of them just waiting for me to make a mistake, looking for me to to look weak or full of self-doubt. It's not easy being Caesar Augustus. And yet, I like it like this. I like being in control. I give a command and it happens. Even in the farthest corners of the empire, even in Judea of all places, I am king. And some people say that I am even divine. And who knows? Maybe I am. I don't need gods. I don't need anybody. For I am Caesar. So shine on, stars. Bring me good fortune. Make my fame known throughout the world this night. I was scared at first. I felt so alone. I didn't know what the angel was talking about. I couldn't imagine that God would choose me, and I was scared, afraid of what people might say, afraid of what Joseph might do, afraid that I could not face this all alone. And yet, I knew it must be true, and I knew that you were there, growing within me, and that everything would somehow be okay. Little Jesus, I've never been a mother before. I don't know how to be the kind of mother I want to be. Look how poorly I've begun. Here we are, in the middle of a stable. I don't have much to offer you, my tiny one, except my love. And oh, how I love you, Jesus. Oh, how I love you. Joseph, I say to myself, what are you doing here? With this baby and his young mother, and yet they need me to look after them. 
Little Jesus, I, I don't understand everything the angel told me about you. I don't understand how I fit into your life. But I do want you to be a part of my life. I want to be a father to you. And I want you to love me. The angel said your name should be Yahshua, Jesus. Like Joshua so long ago, save your people. Bring them to a new promised land. How I long to see you grow into a man and set your people free. Set us free, little Jesus. Set me free. Free to love you more and more each day. Free to be the kind of father and the kind of man I want to be. Yes, welcome, little Jesus. Welcome into my life as well as Mary's. Baby Jesus, Lord and King of the universe, it is so great to be here. When we've waited so long for this moment, it seems like it took forever, but now it's happened. God's plan is set in motion, and all of us angels rejoice because we know the end of the story. We know who you are and what you will accomplish for your people and for all of creation. And we salute you. Your army of angels salutes you, and we bend on knee before you. We're so happy to see this day. This is the most exciting moment there has ever been. And we were given, given the honor to proclaim it from the heavens. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. Oh, but why God would choose to begin with the shepherds? It's beyond my comprehension. Really, God? But to the shepherds, we did go. What were the words? Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Christ, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in the manger. Hallelujah. Son of the Most High, may these people know and believe with us angels. May they bend their knees before you. May they know you as Lord as well as Savior, beginning with those shepherds. It's true, in a manger, such a rude beginning for a child. And yet the angel said, you're no ordinary child. You are the Messiah, the Christ, God's anointed one. 
the one we've been waiting for. Oh, dear Christ child, I am just a common shepherd, a nobody, really. I have no family life to speak of, no close friends. To most proper people, I'm unclean because I work with animals and I don't smell good. Except for the sheep and the fellow shepherds, I'm all alone. I'm a sinner, the last person who should be here on this special night. And yet the angels came to me and the other shepherds. The angels told us that you were born for us, that you had come for us. And I still can't get that out of my mind, that you would be born for someone like me. Why I'm not even religious, and yet here I am, standing before you, the Messiah, my Messiah. What did the angels say? Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all on whom his favor rests. That you would, glory to God indeed, for he has shown favor to me. May your kingdom come quickly, little Christ. May I live to see it myself. Yes, glory to God in the highest. I've got to go tell somebody about this, anyone. I've got to spread the news. The Messiah has come. Flocks were sleeping, shepherds keeping vigil till the morning new. Saw the glory, heard the story, tidings of a gospel true. Thus rejoicing, free from sorrow, praises voicing, greet the morrow. Christ the child was born for you. Christ the child was born for you. How proud I am of you, my son. You did not think it too much to ask for you to give up all the glory and honor of heaven, to take on humble flesh and blood, and be born this night a man. And there you lie, in that manger, surrounded by those who have longed for your coming, not realizing what needs to be done. How I love you, my son. It grieves my heart to know what will be done to you. And yet, for the sake of righteousness and love, and the defeat of all things evil and anti-godly, it must be done. For I love the world I created. I love these women and men and children and cats and dogs and goldfish, the whole lot. And it grieves my heart to see them in such pain. And so much of it so self-inflicted. How I love them. I would not have asked you to do this awesome thing were it not for my love for them. So know that I am with you, my son. Grow into manhood. Set my people free from sin and death and the power of Satan. Show them our love. Give them a new start in life. Help them to see that God is with them and for them. And nothing will be the same again. It is a new beginning, a new creation. And it all begins with you, my son. But for tonight, sleep well. Rest well in Mary's loving arms. Good night, my son. Good night.
Grace, mercy, and peace from our Creator and our Lord Jesus Christ to you this evening. In the voices we just heard, we hear the voices, the moments of our own lives. I like being in control. I don't need anybody. I feel so alone. I don't have much to offer. Why God chose those people is far beyond my comprehension. I don't understand how you fit into my life. I'm just a common person, a nobody really. I'm the last person who should be here on this special night. Those are all things that we just heard, but sometime in some place in your life, I'm sure you said something similar. And God says... I love you. I want you to be part of my life. I want you to love me. I come as a child to set you free. Free to love more and more each day. How long we have waited for this moment. Do not be afraid. This is the one you've been waiting for. Christ is born, and I proclaim that in the waters of baptism and the Holy Spirit, Christ is born in each one of you. The love in you originated from the love of God for all creation. Christ is born for us. Christ has come for us. Christ was born for someone Exactly like you. In the soliloquy, God says to Jesus, Show them our love. Give them a new start in life. Help them see that God is with them and God is for them. And nothing will be, a, will be the same again. It's a new beginning and a new creation. In baptism and through the Holy Spirit, God says the same to you. You are the body of Christ. Show all people our love. Give them a new start in life. Help them see that God is with them and for them. And nothing will be the same again. It's a new beginning and a new creation. That must have been what the shepherds heard as the angel told them, Do not be afraid, you see, for I am here to give you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This is the new beginning of a new creation. As we have been washed clean of our sin, as we follow God and choose to act in that vulnerable love, God is with us. You are a child of God, deserving of love and respect. And God will use you to change the world. Merry Christmas. Will you please join us in singing our hymn of the day, Joy to the World, verses 1 through 4.
Will you join me in professing our faith using the ancient words of the Apostles' Creed? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Joining our voices with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. The shepherds sing, Jesus Christ is born. Let your church throughout the world proclaim this good news over the hills and everywhere. Unite the voices of all your faithful people in songs of praise and rejoicing. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Heaven and nature sing, joy to the world. Give respite to flocks, fields, and those who tend them. Come near to us in the beauty of nighttime, the shining of the stars, and the hush of a world at rest. May our wonder at your creation rouse our care for all the earth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. The angels sing, peace on earth. Come quickly to still the strife of this world. Hush the noise of war and violence in places of unrest. Inspire leaders of nations to seek lasting peace and sustainable provision for all in their care. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Mary sings melodies of comfort to her newborn child. Bring rest and reassurance to those facing struggles this night. Shelter travelers and those without homes. Console those who lie awake due to pain or anxiety. Heal those who are sick or hurting, especially Herb, Candy, Jason, Phil and Shirley, Rosalie, Jeff, Denise, Pastor Judy, Barb, Tom, Donna, Helmut and Carol, John, Kim, Joe, Lynn, Connor and Mason, Nancy, Irwin, Alex, Victoria, Tom and Sue, Jennifer, Jeanette, Al, Nancy, and Emily. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Love sings through the sound of a new baby's cry. Bless new parents and expectant parents. Comfort those who long for children, especially those running out of hope or options. Surround families of every shape and size with your love and care. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. The heavenly chorus sings, glory to God in the highest. We give you thanks for all the saints who have proclaimed your glory in word and deed. Let us join them this night in joyful praise around your eternal throne. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Take a moment and share that peace with those around you, either virtually or in your space. We have a lot of people here today. This is kind of awesome um, to have everybody here. I uh, just want to say thank you so very much. Uh, Merry Christmas to all, and we are so appreciative of all the many gifts and ways you have supported our ministries here at Our Savior Lutheran Church as well as Purdue Lutheran Ministries. Thank you so very much. It is deeply appreciated. Um, just want a uh, quick note before we head any further and go into our uh, communion. If you are live with us right now, we ask you to participate, get your elements ready. If you are watching this recorded, we ask you that you fast from this portion of our service. But thank you for so, so much for all the many blessings that you have given our Savior.
Gracious God, you came to us as one unknown, bringing joy and salvation to the earth. Nourish us at your banquet table, that with all who welcome your birth, we may proclaim your peace revealed in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. In the wonder and mystery of the Word made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory, that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God whom we cannot see. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. In the night in which he was betrayed, O Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks and he gave it for all to drink saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So come to this table, which now extends into your homes. You who have faith and you who would like to have more faith. You who have been here often and you who have not been here for a long time. You who have tried to follow Jesus and you who have failed. It is Christ who invites us to meet him here.
This is the body of Christ broken for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. This is the body of Christ broken for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. This is the body of Christ broken for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. Receive this blessing. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the gift of his body and blood, strengthen, keep, and unite us now and forever. Amen. We give you thanks, gracious God, that you have once again fed us from your very self with the body and blood of Christ. Through this mystery, send us forth to proclaim your promise to a world in need through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. A reading from John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a church sent from God whose name was our Savior Lutheran. They came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. They themselves were not the light, but they came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth.
Receive this blessing. Almighty God, who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary, proclaimed joy through the angels, sent the shepherds with good news, and led the Magi by a star, bless you this day through the world made flesh. Amen. Go in peace. Share the gift of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us. We hope you had a meaningful worship experience. In the busyness of the season and our worrying about the world around us, it is extremely easy to lose sight of what is truly our call as disciples. Remember, you are a child of God, deserving of love and respect, and God will use you to change the world. Christmas is a time to return to God's promise of vulnerable love giving us the pure gift of love found in the infant Jesus. Receive that gift, no strings attached, no warranty to worry about or a password required. Simply share the gift you have been given. Love, simple, vulnerable, love. Please receive this blessing written by Ray Pritchard. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. Almighty God, Creator, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. We hope to see you on Sunday. Merry Christmas. <laughs>